what's going on out there. I'm Sean Devine. Hope you all are doing well. Today I have a quick new tutorial for Logic Pro X users. It's dealing with something called Project Alternatives. And I wish I had known about this a long time ago. I would have been utilizing it. But that's why I'm making this video so that uh, I can share it with you guys. And hopefully this is going to be something that's really helpful. It definitely has already been extremely helpful for me in a number of different uh, situations. So basically what a project alternative is, is it's a much more efficient and better way of creating different versions, different edits. You know, maybe uh, in my case, I get uh, revision requests for some of the mixing sessions. So what I would normally do is I would go to our file menu and I would go to save as, and then I would call this, you know, like S2, right? So some of you have asked how I do my naming scheme for my uh, mix edits. It's just MS2, MS3, MS4, just in this format. But uh, I would do MS2 and then I would save it. Now, if you have all of this stuff checked, it's going to save all that stuff again, which means if you've got uh, these, this is a gigabyte sized uh, session file. So if I'm making a duplicate of that, which you see here already, this was the original session that was sent to me. This is my mix. I've already doubled the size of the sessions. And if I save a revision, then I'm going to do that again. And even if I uncheck this stuff, I'm still creating a duplicate session file, which is not necessary because of project alternatives. So the way we utilize project alternatives is go to our file menu. And you're going to see this little section here called project alternatives. Now, what you would do is let's just say this is uh, something that you've edited. You've made a couple of revisions or maybe it's a performance version. Let's just say it's the, your performance version of this song. I would go to project alternatives, new alternative. And then we just name this MS4 perf for performance. Let me do my underscore. And then I would hit OK. It's going to ask me if I want to save uh, the changes to the original alternative. I don't want to do that because it's going to save it to a new one. So I'm going to do don't save. And that's going to create a new project alternative. So you see up here in our uh, project display, it shows us the, the session and then the name of our project alternative. So I can manage these alternatives by going back to the menu and you see that there. Let's say I wanted to go back to the, uh, the final mix, but not the performance version. All I have to do is just select that and it's going to load up that project alternative. So it's really convenient to go back and forth between these uh, different edits and versions and revisions uh, using project alternatives versus the save as, which is just not efficient. And that's something I was doing. Maybe you've been doing that as well. Um, but also if you need to do something like delete these or edit them, you can edit, uh, remove them, you can rename them, do all kinds of cool stuff there. So that is the project alternatives in Logic Pro X. Very useful feature. I know that this is something I wish that I had been utilizing a while ago and i hope it's useful for you if you have any questions about project alternatives feel free to leave a comment below if you learn anything in the video please like and subscribe and we'll talk to you soon